Armory 3D, like every game engine, generates files based on what you do in the engine. Let's talk about your Armory 3D project file hierarchy and the different types of files in folders you need to make a game using Armory 3D. Firstly, I recommend having all your different projects and separate folders as I have here. Save your blend file in your new Armory 3D folder. And now we can start building an Armory project. When you press play for the first time, Armory will compile your project and generate a few folders. These files contain information, like your logic nodes converted to hacks files. The first folder you may want to add is the bundle folder. You can use it to add assets like images, font, and audio files. If you have these files imported into Blender already then you can just click this button to generate and add those assets to the bundled folder automatically. Next, you can use extra libraries to extend your hacks functionality. In the project folder, you can add those libraries by creating a folder and naming it libraries, but more importantly, we can separate our project into multiple blend files. To do this just add as many different blend files as you want in the project folder. For example, we have a game file with a character that we can play normally. We can now open our main game file and link the character to this main game file. Go to File, Link and navigate to the blend file of the character and link the character. To be able to quickly edit linked assets, we can go to Edit, Add-ons, and Search. Edit link to activate the built-in add-on. Now when we select a linked object, in the end panel, we have a new drop-down called Edit Linked Library. Click this and we open up the original file with the linked asset. And when we go back to the main file, all the changes are updated automatically. We can also link any type of Blender assets in any Blend file not just objects. For example linking entire scenes or logic nodes.